and we can have 2,400 troops now? What happened that changed how many people we can have? I have no idea. <laughs> Raise the soldiers. Oh, I am actually leading it this time. Good. And we will come down here to Ormond. Actually, we'll go... Yeah, we'll just go right here. Can we go here? No, we have to go here first. Well, that's fine. Get on the boat. Sail away. Take care of our allies' war for him. Because he is trash. Okay. Going into Ireland. New Marshall Perk. Uh, we'll come back to you in a second. Oh, night effectiveness plus 75%. Yes, I think that'll be it. Well, the next one is friendly fatal casualties down by 20% and advantage up by 5. That's... Wow. Okay. All right. A commoner of Finnish heritage has been accosted in the streets of Jidar over some minor offense. By making a statement in their defense, I could perhaps convince my son-in-law, Ketu, the equally Finnish of my good character. <laughs> but, okay, but I might risk alienating my Norse peers. Finns are good people. He gets plus 10 to penny, but I have a 40% chance to lose prestige or Nords or Norse are superior to everyone. Yes. We all know that. Everybody knows that. All right. Four months to go on the siege. We have joined our allies. They are coming here, but they have no, they have literally no chance. Oh, wait, there <laughs> What? Why are they raiding themselves? Is that a different? Yeah, that's a different... <laughs> that's a different place. Okay. Fine. Let's see if I care. I'm going to raid it here in a minute, or, or siege it here in a minute. Oh, they're going back. We're just going to beat them into oblivion. Chop their heathen heads off. And just go about our business. Hello there. Yeah, we already have somebody wounded over there. Enemy commander, Conkobar. Marshal of High Chieftain Aid. He's a novice physician, but he's leading an army. Hmm. Well, I guess he's not bad, but nowhere near us. We are a little bit better for the battlefield commander. Just a pinch better. Just a pinch better. Got some victory. All right. Wow, all their levies are down. All their light footmen and all their bowmen. They didn't lose any champions, but their champions didn't kill very many people. Ours, ours cleaved through 305. Yeah. Ours are just way better. 62 total. Well, wait a minute. 29, 25, 20, 18. 11, 11, 10, 8. <laughs> Interesting. All right, palisades are getting palisade, palisade, whatever they call. They're getting constructed, and that's good. All right, they're gonna try to unseize this. Take seven months for them to be done. 
We're done in four. So we're going to be able to get done with this. Come down here, smack him around some more. And somehow we're losing this war right now. Because they have taken this. Okay. Okay, so he's getting... I guess that's my brother-in-law. and one of my sisters. Married out, and... Um, I guess I figured I'd, I'd make him like me a little bit. Um, okay, we're just about done here. Just a few days to go. Ah, oh. Kraka comes of age. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as a, an adult. If I could talk, that would have sounded a lot better. Huh. <clears throat> Let's try that again. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Kraka the intricacies of diplomacy. All efforts have come to naught, however. Few at any court would be overly impressed by her grasp of, of etiquette, but at least she does know how to hold her own in polite company. Well, good. Good for her. It's a two-star education. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, the, their kids are going to be amazing. Intelligent and comely. She's honest, paranoid, fickle. Oh, she's terrible. Uh, he is curious, stubborn, arrogant, and content. But he is very intelligent. So he's the brains. She's the good looks. Their kids are going to be great. As long as they don't get this crap here from her. I think that's going to be fine. Yes, they grew up so fast. Alright. Oh. I captured his bishop. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing down here during the siege, sir? Oh my god, we're ripping people off, ripping people's heads off. My counselor died. They ripped another guy's head off. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're in you're in line next there, Dan. catch you? I think we can catch you before you get on a boat. Oh, we won the war. Good. Disband all. Are you kidding me? Now you're... You're going out again. You're calling me in. He's got two enemies this time. The Meath Conquest... Okay, so they're coming to take back. <laughs> As a defender. So they're coming to take it back. Sure, why not? I mean, I don't have my own things to do or anything. Let's raise the armies. Make sure we're leading it. Come back over here. And we'll come in here. Oh, we're going, we're going way up there. Okay. And right, we'll be there next month. Don't worry. It'll be fine. This guy's really getting too big for his britches, to be honest. I mean, he can't control what he's got without bringing in other people. And that just means you need to lay off the conquesting there, buddy. Yeah, we're going to catch him, I think. Yep. We are faster than you are. Oh, well, one of you got away. Okay, with certainty. I took Solvi out playing with a bow, and to my surprise... He ran into a wounded doe. 
he had not hesitated in the slightest to bring it down. Okay, he gets ambitious. That's really good. I don't want sadistic, don't want paranoid. So yeah, that's... I'm happy with that. That's fine. Alright, buddy. Where's your, uh, where's your place there? We're gonna take that. Well, it looks like you didn't leave fast enough. <laughs> the Vikings are here. Our champions are getting beat down, baby. That's not good. That is not good. Okay. My acquaintance, my prisoner has died in my dungeon. Okay, whatever. I'm trying to read this one. Okay. Um, somebody can get married. Yes, go for it. Okay. We have four months to go on this. He's got five. You know, I'm not bothered. I really don't care. This is not my war. I'm just here to lend a hand. If you can't handle your own business, if you can't protect your own land from 850 people, then I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you shouldn't own any land because you can't protect it. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So. We might get done in time to just run down there and beat on him for a minute. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're going to have time. Hala comes of age. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Hala the intricacies of careful planning. All efforts have come to naught, however. Okay. Ah, she was going to be the... She's sadistic. She was going to be the, um, the skullduggery, backstabby girl. I mean, she's a really good fighter. Well, not really good. She's average, but she's better than most kids that are 16, right? She's better than most adults. And her stats are really good all, all around. Unfortunately, her intrigue is she's forgiving, which is taken two away. Content, which is taken one away. Wow. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. They grow up so fast. Uh, no, you're not going to make it, buddy. You're not going to make it out. <laughs> oh, that's the that's the main guy. The high chief. Okay. Now what? Guess we go back up here. And then further into his territory, perhaps. Not swayed. Marshall earns respect. Okay, good, good. Very good. Okay. Okay, we won the war. Disband all. Can I do something that I want to do now? In fact, has it been three years yet? <laughs> I believe it has. Okay. It has. It has been three years. Okay. Let's give my levies a little bit of time. To stack back up again. You're currently under the seemly number of concubines for someone of your rank. 
Well, you know, I don't really want too many kids, to be honest with you. Wow, we have a lot of prisoners. Let's check this out. Convert to Asatru, and I'll let you go. How about that? Everybody gets a conversion today. He will not accept. So you can rot. How about that? If you're not gonna, you know, uh, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me, dude. Can I just, can I just say that I'm sick and tired of this freaking alliance? They want Thomund. Which is this here. <sighs> I don't want to do it, but I kind of have to. Unless I want to lose 350 fame. My god. This is horrendous. Dude, leave me alone. I wish you could just say, like, after a couple, say, look, man. I got better stuff to do, all right? I got better stuff to do. So you're just gonna have to figure this out on your own. You know? Okay, we got a perk. So we now we now have friendly casualties down 20%, which is amazing. King's Guard, number of knights plus four. Very nice. Where are we going, Thelmond? Okay. Sure. You know, and he immediately starts losing territory. You know what, dude? You, you just should not have territory. Look at this. You have like 300 people. That's it. Why do you have territory over here where you can't defend it? Oh, he just died, too. <laughs> he just died. And then... His son, Magnus, which is an amazing name, just took over. He is terrible at everything but diplomacy. Oh, man. You know, I mean, this guy is just more trouble than he's worth. I'm eventually going to take over his area anyway, right? So, I don't know what to tell you. I guess um, I'll just tell you... Sure, sure I'll handle all your wars for you, man. That's apparently why I exist. I'm wasting my life fighting this guy's wars. Okay, increase control is done. We probably need to do that again somewhere. No, no we don't. Perfect, so let's stay on the organized levies. And... You're doing development, I assume, here. Yeah, you are. Okay. Fabricate claim. Let's keep going up. Because eventually, I want this right here. Like all of that. So, go ahead and fabricate that. And if I can get away from old boy here, and this stupid alliance... I'll just start heading north from my territory. And we'll start, you know, we'll start taking control of stuff. Oh, man. Okay. Let's 
some speed things along here. Oh, he brought in... That must be somebody else. <laughs> Elizabeth comes of age. Okay, with sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards warfare, such as Elizabeth, can come to truly understand it. Good, good, good. Yeah, three-star skilled tactician education. She's reckless, gregarious, ambitious, and lazy. <laughs> She's ambitious and lazy. These literally offset each other. These literally cancel each other out. Okay. And ale comes of age. My heir. Oh, good. Well, all efforts have come to naught. Few would be impressed by his understanding of the subject. Ale, you, you trash can. Ale, you are now a knight, and I hope you die on the field of battle. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, there he is. I will force you to fight, no matter what. Because I would prefer Solvi. Uh, Solvi's sadistic, though. Jeez. I don't want either one of these kids to be my heir. They're no good. Okay. So we're done with that. We're gonna come up here. And then go in here. Yeah. Maybe my grandchildren will be better. Okay, following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son Solvi what he thought. He claimed he had learned a lesson about not reaching for more than one can handle. Keeps the trait temperate. Which is decent. Yeah, it's good. Pretty much overall good. He become just. Or he could be cynical. You know, the fact that he's sadistic. I don't know. Let's let's keep temperate. That's fine. <sighs> well, either one of these kids, either one of these boys, who really cares, right? Who really cares what they learn, what they have, what they don't have? They're both they're both very poor heirs to the throne. <laughs> Very, very poor. Do I need to sway anyone else? Anywhere? Oh, actually, you, sir. Wait, why will you not accept? He's zealous. Hmm. We have a couple of people here with clones. Oh, these are my sons. And then a random lady. Where's she at? You have a claim on the chieftain of Skan. Skain. Where's that at? In Denmark. So, south of us. The Danes. We could probably beat them in a fight. Oh boy, if I could ever get away from this alliance and do something that I want to do, that might be on the table. It is very possible. But I am stuck here on my hamster wheel of alliance wars. Going nowhere that I want to go. And that's all right. You know what? It's okay. 
Alright, 100%. Right, 100%. I disband. We win. Right. We win now. How much money do you get? Man, nothing. Convert. Convert or remain in prison forever. Oh yeah, you... You just like staying in prison, don't you? I forgot. Well, you can. You certainly can. Alright, before another freaking alliance. Oh, where am I? I'm gonna come up here. Declare war on this guy. <laughs> My claims for Mary. Mary. Mary, Mary. I don't know how to say that. Raise all here. I, for some reason, am not commanding this army. <clears throat> I'm commanding another army. Oh. There's two of them now. Okay. I'm going to meet up here. Combine the two armies into one. Make sure I'm leading them. And then go kick this guy's teeth down his throat. Girl Dag of Upland. Upland. Join Drunkerson's claim on the chieftain of Mar Mary. Dude, what are you talking about? No. Sure, uh, I'm just going to say I accept and I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Okay, and I am leading the army. He's hanging out here with nine soldiers. He's got 708. I don't know what he's waiting for. But 708 versus 2,747. Oh, he's going down here. Wait, who's that? Oh, that's probably uh, one of these down here. One of these jokers down here who I don't care about at all. Okay. Camp dispute. After my army sets up camp, I hear a commotion coming from my champion's lodgings. Investigating the disturbance, I find Bjorgolf and Ketu in the middle of a heated argument while several onlookers edge them on. Deliver a speech about unity. I will probably fail that. Have them whipped. They both get wounded and lose opinion. Then I gain dread. Or I just go back to my tent. I think... You know what? Fine. My pleas for us all to put aside our differences fall on deaf ears as this bat turns into an all-out brawl. Drinks and food go flying as people start throwing tankers and packs around. Might as well join in. Oh, 99%. I emerge as the sole victor of the brawl. <laughs> of course. Because I am a monster on the battlefield. <laughs> Well, that worked out. That was fun. Okay. So we're... As soon as we siege this, then it should be 100%. This guy's losing his war, which I do not care about in the slightest. It's totally fine with me if he loses his war. I, I can't be bothered. I got my own objectives in this world, and none of them include going down here and dancing around with these fools for a piece of land that's eventually going to be mine anyway. So it doesn't matter who controls it, it's eventually going to be mine. Kabish. Five days left and this war should be over. Oh, 53. Did they capture... no? Oh. Their capital is down here. Guess I'll go there. Yeah, this guy doesn't have a prayer of, of stopping me at this point. Um, 
Don't care. Still don't care. Well, I captured his son, Rikulfer, during the siege. Okay. How about Rikulfer? Give me some money for you. This guy, will you convert? No. So you stay in prison forever. That's okay with me, buddy. Oh my god, Elizabeth twins again. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. This is my daughter. Freitas has given birth to twins. Since the little ones are part of the Drinkers and Dynasty, they should be blessed with good names. So we have one boy and one girl. A good Norse name. Grimmer. That's a good one. And Elizabeth. No. Tora. Bjorg. Iliana. That's a good one. Grimmer and Iliana. May you both grow strong and wise. Oh, yes. And I am probably going to teach Neil uh, Grimmer here myself. Because I want him, I want somebody. Are they any good? Are they any good at all? Freitas. I mean, no bad traits, right? That's that's a positive. <laughs> that's a that's a win in my book. All right, Kingsguard Knights plus four, perfect. Don't think we have enough people right now, bro. Bro, <laughs> the Scanian conquest of the chieftain of Mor, Moray. Now, where is all this happening? Well, you're down in Denmark. And you want Sweden. Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to accept, but I'm not going to go down and help you. Because, again, it's all going to be mine eventually anyway. So, not too bothered about who's controlling it. A lot of enemy armies running loose around here now, though. <laughs> Just because I'm in, like, three wars at, at the moment. All right, they're unseizing that, but I'm going to be way done with this long before they get that done. I'll just come back up. Oh, my God, so many things. Okay, prisoners taking the siege. Jarl Dag's grandson and his daughter. Okay. Longhouse is constructed. Chieftain of Rogland gained organized service for five years. Holding taxes plus 5%. Good job, Mr. Marshall. Okay. And we're going to go up here. Stop these guys from undoing all of our hard work. Now that's a word right there. Good brand Stalier. Good brand Stalier. Scandinavian words and names for things are amazing. Amazingly unpronounceable for me, but they are amazing nonetheless. Okay, they didn't run away, so I guess they die. Ingerder comes of age. I'm proud of my see my daughter no longer as a child, but in a, as an adult. Okay, with sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards scholarship, such as Ingerder, can come.